the first thing I'm going to get to is some of these. I'm going to get into color frequencies. Oh, and, yes. And, and, and candles. Now, this is the Apollo interpretation of candles and colors. If you are looking to do this, in, and, and I'm going to give you general descriptions of the colors, and you then would be able to get the candle with the appropriate color for whatever appropriate work you're doing. Now, I've said this before, but I'll document it here. With a candle, what you're doing is a flame, and I've read this on your show before from the book Psychomancy, and I have right. someone print, I finally have someone printing up copies of that for all the people who've asked, so that will be available soon. Now, in Psychomancy, it told you that a flame, there are different states of consciousness in your mind, alpha, delta, data, and beta, whatever it was. And I broke that down already on, on one of your old, older shows. The right. first state, the, and what that means is your brain waves start to resonate at different frequencies. Um, alpha state is the meditative state. Data is it was psychic and, 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 and super sensitive and super psychic, right. sleep state. There was different states, which, is, which I've already broke down. But in meditation, you want to get into alpha state. What I told you is you will go into alpha state in a state of relaxation or extreme yeah. focus. For instance, you go into alpha state if you're on a long drive, especially at night in the highway. You will actually be aware of what it is that you're doing on the highway as a driver, but you won't remember the last three miles. You'll be in such a zone. But you won't crash. You're not blanked out, but you'll be in such a zone um, that, that you are af- actually in a meditative or alpha state. I think you said uh, that brother who passed Wellbone told you something about meditating towards yes. in the daytime. Now, yes, but- also... Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I was just going to say, yes, he did, Brother Wellbone. That was something, how he talked about how you can be sort of conscious and be meditating on something. Um, As women, we do it all the time when we're cooking, when we're cleaning. You can be focused, and men, when you're focused on something, but your mind is really concentrating on something else. That's also another form of meditation as well. Well, it it is meditation. It is what yeah. you actually what you're actually doing is you are going into alpha state. You are starting to slow your brain waves down. Um, you you your brain is starting to hibernate, especially when you do routine things. So cooking when it becomes routine, driving when it becomes routine. Um, slaves when stayed in alpha state as picking cotton, something that was routine. In fact, that's why they started to hum. Because when you hum, you start to vibrate the pineal. So them being aware of it. So alpha state and what they call on TV prime time is actually you going into alpha state. After you eat, relax, sit in your easy chair, prime time wasn't for TV programming. It was for the commercial. Because you would go into alpha state in a meditative state, which shuts down the conscious mind more than it would be absolutely aware, resonating that full brain function. At full brain function, your conscious mind is blocking all, blocking all things. It's the most aware. It's looking everywhere. It's, it's constantly thinking. When it shuts down, it shuts down in certain, at, at certain places, and you're more open to information. So prime time when you're in the easy chair, you're open to that information. So they would program you with uh, commercials, so on and so forth. They would also flash lights and sounds to get you in a certain state of mind as well, an alpha state. Now, um, with your meditation, at the very least, at the very least, you're trying to control yourself going into alpha state with a certain intention. That's what you're doing with meditation. Instead of just going into alpha state, state and losing yourself in thought, as you said, while you cook, while you drive, while you clean or whatever, you're trying to bring a certain intention into your meditative mind or your right. subconscious mind and whatever that intention is because the subconscious mind creates the reality. By you programming the subconscious mind with your meditation, you therefore start to see the reality that you desire. Yes. Plenty of techniques to do that, and we're going to get into it. But the first thing we're going to get into is color frequencies, and this one is a little bit different 
because these are the Apollo frequencies. All right. Right, and this so, is different. Yes, great. A, a, a bit different. You know, it all lends itself. You know, it all lends itself to each other. Nothing is just completely obscure, but, you know, things have a little tinge when they come from a little different flavor on it when it comes from a different kind of thing. All right. Now, um, you might want to download this show if you don't have a pen or pad. So for candles, uh, and, and let me say this, and this is why you would do a candle. When you light that flame on a candle, the flickering flame, by focusing on that flame, you then go into alpha state. You then go into a meditative state. So whatever you have lit that candle for, you then start to program that intention through the flame into your subconscious mind to therefore create that reality. By doing this, that's how the candle works. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. They call this light resonating on the astral plane. It resonates right. on the astral plane because you let it resonate in your mind. So looking at the flame, when you light the candle with your intention, spend some time staring at that flame until you feel you made your point for whatever you lit that candle. That's the importance of candle magic. For the color red, red is for passion, energy, power, strength, courage, achievement, magnetism, counteract, fatigue, and anger. Orange, attraction, motivation, mental energy, clear thinking, Harmony, expansion, happiness, yellow, communication, mental clarity, healing, cooperation, friendship, business, success, prosperity, reduces fevers and stops nervousness, green, money, balance, promotions, job finding, fertility, prosperity, and brotherly love, light blue, peace, calm, healing, relieve stress, friendship, hope, meditation, Decision-making, emotional balance, royal blue, truth, self-awareness, dreams, protection, removes guilt, protection from negative vibes, <clears throat> purple, intuition, power, spiritual communication, influences those in high positions, brown, endurance, stability, home, security, material, um, material to, to, to get things to materialize, and help in court. Black removes, uh, removes or places hexes. So black, if you want to place a hex, you can use black. If you want to remove one, you also use black. Negativity, hatred, and evil spells, depending on your focus. White, protect, protection, meditation, blessing, purity, health, and spiritual growth. Gray, neutralizing, stop stress, masking, veiling, um, and hesitation. Lavender. Spiritual development, psychic growth, divination, blessing, sensitivity. Pink, emotional love, romances, new loves, a come-to-me spell, friendship. For gold, solar energy, power, physical strength, success, achievement, mental growth. Um, white and green together, protection um, of your money, i.e. protecting your investment. White and pink, protecting the harmony of a, of a love relationship that already exists. White and black, jinx removing or removing nasty vibes. White and purple, and, and, and I'm saying these are the combinations. Um, uh, white and purple, excellent meditation candles. Uh, white and blue, protection with peace in the home. White and yellow, cleansing of your aura. White and orange, blessing and harmony in the home. White and red, protects your health. White and brown, protects the children and your pets. Green and brown, attracting a good job, proper home. Green and blue, prosperity. Green and purple, attracting large amounts of money. Green and black, banishing poverty or money problems. Red and brown, favor in legal matters. Red and black, reversing negativity or evil to sender. Red and purple, conquering difficult situations. Red and green, power, money boost and raises uh, for raises and promotions on your job. Purple and blue, prophetic dreams. Blue and black, removing depression. Yellow and red, attracting love. Uh, yellow and green, attracting success and money. Yellow and blue, achieving balance. Yellow and brown, renting or selling a home, success in that uh, place. Yellow and black, banishing bad luck, removing blocks in your success. Yellow and purple, 
uh, promotions, new endeavors, yellow and orange, attracting success, fast luck, orange and red, attracting a perfect mate, solar energy, uh, yellow, orange and yellow, uh, attracting success in the arts and music, orange and green, balance and expansion, fast luck, orange and purple, aids and studying, also power and strength, orange and brown, attracts harmony, business, success, orange and blue, happiness, harmony, peace, and clarity, orange and black, removing blocks in business and success, pink and green, attracting a mate with money, um, pink and red, romance and lust in a relationship, pink and purple, come to me power, pink and blue, peace and harmony, and finally, pink and brown, happiness and stability. So out of print information on Palo color frequencies, Palo color frequencies. This, that stuff I just read was out of print. So yes. you can go back and download this, and for whatever candle you need, I've just told you any color or any color combination, you use your creativity to make what you need happen for you with color magic and candle magic. 